Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Got some more content for you. I didn't film the whole thing because I just didn't feel like it and it was something minor. I am getting the B-pillar emblems put in. Got it out. It's easy, I'm about to show you real quick on how to do this. And basically, B-pillar's there, right? All right, so what you do is, you come to the interior of your car, as you look behind me, you just take out the trim there. There's a, I wanna say it's a 14 millimeter bolt holding your, uh, your seat belt in. You take that down and you pull it out. So the end result is, you see here, you keep that in, you don't have to take that out. You pull out the plastic piece here, the 14 millimeter bolt goes through here. Once that comes out, oh, where's that trim piece? This trim piece here comes off, as you can see, that comes off. Takes a little bit of prying, and you gotta be careful because these plastic tabs hold it in. Right there, and it's like a little metal clip. So just be careful, use a, a plastic molding removal tool or something. And then you have a eight millimeter washer nut that goes on to, where's the B pillar? On top of the car, right? Oh. So, you see that, these studs? The eight millimeter washer nut goes on the back of that. And you see the B pillar the B-pillar stud goes down there. You got a clip here. And then the last stud goes in there. So I'm gonna push this through and let you see it. It's gonna be kind of difficult with one hand, but all right. So that pushes in. I'm using my phone, but that's what I've been recording all my videos with. That pushes in. Uh, once you push that in, I don't know if you can see it, but the stud ends up going through there. And you take the washer nut and I use a quarter inch, quarter inch, eight millimeter socket with the extension. And you basically just set that washer nut inside of that tool and line it up. Do not drop this down in that hole. If that drops down in the hole, it goes into the abyss and you'll never find it. So anyway, you line that up and get it in. I'm doing this with one hand, so I'm being extra like risky right now. But I know what I'm doing. And once it gets tight, come on. I'm trying not to drop this. If I drop this, I'm screwed. Ah, there we go. So that is in there. Can you see it? That's in there. I'm gonna do the same thing for the one at the bottom. Stick it in the end of the extension. Boom. Got it in. Now we just spin. Once that's in there all the way, you are installed and everything is gravy. So what I did to uh, get, do I have the tool in here? I don't. So I use this little pry tool that I got from AutoZone to uh, get my B pillar out. And what I did was I used the pry tool and once I pried it out, you gotta be careful cause you'll, you'll bend the, or chip the paint. There it is. You'll chip the paint on your B pillar. But I use this little pry tool. I think you get the set for like 10 bucks. And I just kind of like 
twisted. I didn't pry, I twisted and got the, got the original um, emblem out. But it comes with a set of three, three different spoons. You do that and the end result is that day. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video. What I'll do is, uh, because I moved my cars, I got several cars, both of the Lexuses, my Cadillac, my other Celica, my truck. I'm gonna move some of the cars and then let you see what the emblem looks like um, installed onto the car. And that'll be it. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you can get um, notifications when I drop new drops. You know, I gotta drop these videos for y'all so y'all can stay entertained. I need more subscribers, so subscribe. Support the channel, we are trying to get big. This is a niche uh, car scene. Not too many people have third gen Toyota Celicas. And I just wanna expand our horizons and get our uh, recognition because most people they just they talk about the Celica Supra or the Toyota Supra you know which was the generation after they, they, they separated the two and just went from Celica Supra to Supra and anytime you hear Supra the guys go crazy anytime you hear Celica it's like yeah it's a cool car whatever but the Celica birthed the Supra and people don't try to give us our recognition for that. We birthed the Toyota Supra. So without the Celica, especially this particular Celica, you know, without this particular Celica, there wouldn't have been no Supra. No, no Mark II, no Mark III, no Mark IV, you know? The Mark I Celica Supra, it was kind of ugly. Nobody really liked that car. The Mark II, Celica Supra, which was the body style that copied this one, the Celica XX in Japan, they called it. That's when the Celica, uh, when the Supra started getting popular. Then the Mark III was eh, so so. Mark IV, Fast and the Furious, you already know that story. And from there, the Mark V, people, some people like it, some people don't. I don't like it, it's ugly. I don't like it. Pineapples, I don't, I don't want to do it. If you haven't seen the Mark V Super in person, when you see it, you're gonna be highly disappointed. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. It's basically, people say, oh, yeah, it has a BMW engine. The engine is great. I love the engine, but the looks of the Mark V Super are horrible. I just like the headlights. Everything else, it looks like, it looks like, a Toyota, no, it looks like a BMW birthing out a Toyota. If you look at it in the back, it looks like another car is coming out of the back of it. And the same thing with the front. It looks like another car is being birthed out of a Z4. It's just, it's just horrible. Does that make sense? From the side, it's okay. From the front and the rear, it is ugly, it's hideous. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. Once you come back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fade this out and we're gonna come back to the comment let you see the pillars. Anyway, thanks again. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment if you like this video or you had any, any questions. Uh, and I'll see you next time.